Here's a video on the threading of our new model SB2 and or SBA2. For the purpose of the video we're going to use a black thread and show you first the looper threading. You're going to come up through the thread stand up top, bring it down to the first arm on the outside, and then we're going to come down into the machine. It's going to be going to go in that, that hole here. Maybe I should take the gloves off. Okay, so we're going through the first two eyelets. Now talk them through how it goes through the tensions from the bottom up. Yep. This is a little bit tight in here, but you gotta put it through there. And the threading charts in with your book, but seeing the video can be a big help. Yeah. It goes down here. Hold on, let me get down there. Okay, first we got it through there, up through the tension, then back down through that eyelet, and I'm going to swing around. I can't see from there. Let me swing around. It just goes like this. Got it. Nope. Through the side. See, right there. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now we go back here again. You got like two holes. You can go in any any one of the two two holes. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna open this up. And again here, we go through one. I'm gonna show it from this angle. Then I'm gonna turn up. Then I'm gonna go over. It's kind of hard to see in there. Do the, there's two holes there or one? There's three holes. You can go in any any one of them. And once it's through, pull it through with a tweezer. Yeah, yeah. What's important is you have to go through those eyelets. Are you looking in the right ear, Mark? Yeah, can't see it. Now, which one are you going in now? You go to the one. There's two eyelets. You go on the right. I can't see it. Oh, it's, it's in there. And you go straight through the other one. I'll show you after it's in there. Okay. It's kind of tough with the black thread. Oh, come on. Struggling with this. Yeah, well, I'm standing on yeah, top of it. Yeah, I can't see the black. Here we go. Okay, so it goes from the it's gotta go exterior side. through. You can see it now. See? Let me see. I'm going to get in close. Straight from one to the other. Got it? Kind of. I'm trying to. Yeah. It's right. Point it. with the. Just do me a favor. Point with the tweezer where the first part goes in. It's here. Yep. And it goes straight through. The other and then one. pull it through. Now we're going to turn the machine a little bit so the looper comes out. This looper has. You can kind of push it out. You push that down, it enables you to thread the looper I easily. Do it for first before I push it down. I'm going to put it through here first. Through the back of the looper? Yeah. And once you push it through the back, it should come out the front after... Well, it's when you break it. You yeah, know. after about a half inch. Jim, the T400G. You know, the 35 oh, spools. Can't see the, the black <laughs> We're doing it to make it easier for them, but it's harder yeah. for us. Yeah, but they got the idea. Okay, put it through the back of the looper and just feed it. Give it a little push. Here we go. Now we go like this. And we put it from the front to the back. That's through the eye of the looper. And you leave about three, four inches like that. And don't forget to push it back. Show them how. Yeah, I will. It's got Just to lift it back. Yeah, lift it back up till it clicks. Now we close that in. Bring the folder back, and that's the bottom. That's the looper thread. Okay, there's a looper thread. Now, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay here for now. Should we do it with this? I can't see the clear with the video. Okay, we're gonna do it with one with the black. Mm -hmm. It'll be the same thing here, but it's gonna go. I'm gonna go up to the first eyelet. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. Good. 
Yeah, well, it's going to be over here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so. Right. right. Just make sure your cone is in the position where the plastic cone is. Okay, we're going to put it through one of these holes. This is similar to what we did on the bottom. Just go slow here because this is the part we kind of yeah. raced through before. Okay, through that top. Uh -huh. Hold on, let me see the face real quick. So that first hole goes in, goes to the back of it, then out. Goes in here. Down through between there. Between the tension discs, make sure it's between the discs. Between the discs and pull up from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. Then back out the... Now, so this eyelet here now? Other eyelet, exactly. From the outside this in. This is kind of... They made it a little bit difficult to get it in there. Now, it goes, goes any one of these two holes. It don't matter which. Don't forget to go through this. Now on top of the needle bar. Through here. Then it goes down through the felt because it's a monofilament. And make sure you oil that felt too. And it goes any one of these three holes. And now in the needle, we turn it till the needle comes up. And it goes in the needle from the front to the back. Oh, I didn't see it. There we go. Nope. Not an attempt. It's easier with the monofilament, believe me. Yeah. There. Front to the back, leave a big tail, and you're all set.